Hello, 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 and today's video we will be making plunging attack D look. We will use Venti as a plunging attack activator, and then we'll go step by step testing and increasing damage. And in the end, we will fight Hydra Tulpa. Who needs Shan Yun when we have Shan Yun at home? Let's find out. Shan Yun. Recently, her kit was shown in special program. She's a plunging attack activator, and in most of her showcases, she was shown with D look. And today is the meme build time because we already had plunging attack activator, and this is Venti. If we are using Venti's hold version of skill, we can create up current wind. Mostly it is for exploration, but today we will use it to make plunging attacks. And as all Arkans, it has pretty good 20 seconds duration. So what we are going to do? Today we'll test Deluxe plunging attack with Venti. Yes, it's quite cool build, but first reason to do so, I'm playing this game for fun. Second reason, we can test Deluxe plunging attack multiplayer before her release. And the damage number that we'll achieve today will be way better when we will get Cloud Retainer. And without Without further ado, let's see how this will go. Deluxe build. Diluc would be our main DPS today, so let's quickly look at his build. And because today we are playing meme build with quite hard to execute rotation, I have gave my Diluc quite cracked build. For the weapon we will be using Serpent Spine, best battle pass weapon, artifact set I went full Crimson Witch, we wouldn't utilize full passive on this set today, but 50% weaponize increase will be quite in handy. My Diluc is Constellation 2 with Triple H talents, and for the stats we have 1700 attack, 149 Elemental Mastery, HT4 195 Crit Ratio. And this D-Look we will be using for entire video today. Plunging D-Look. And Plunging Attack Playstyle is actually quite popular among D-Look mains. Mostly they are using Dragon Strike technique with Diona, because she has moving speed buff that activates Dragon Strike, and you can make Melt D-Look. And the reason why it makes Dragon Strike D-Look so popular is his multiplies on Plunging Attacks. With that he can output some massive numbers. But today we are not learning advanced techniques, today we will make a more casual approach with Venti. Ok, and now for the Venti. And unfortunately Venti's kit wouldn't be so useful today. The main reason why we are using him is up current wind. Yes, for artifacts we are using very decent veneer, but in our rotation we will have very low uptime on this debuff. And for the weapon we are using elegy for the end. And unfortunately we will have very poor uptime on this weapon passive too. And even though in this team Venti would have pretty good buffs, we will not utilize them in most of our rotation. And one thing about Diluc's plunge attack animation. Diluc has pretty long retaliation after his plunging attack. And if we are using only plunge attacks we will use time for this animation. And it's not Venti's problem, because against new boss we have this same animation problem. But Diluc's plunge attack animation can be cancelled in normal attack. And if we are using one normal attack between every plunge we can go faster. And we will not only plunge faster, this is whole additional attack in our attack stream. So we will use this technique a lot today. So let's add the damage. Let's destroy shield. Using Venti's hold. Now Diluc's burst. Deluxe burst not creating, so first plunge 27, second plunge 25, third plunge not creating, and last plunge 19,000. Why my Deluxe is always not creating? Sometimes he even misses crit with 98% crit rate. I don't know what's wrong with him. But anyways, our second plunge made 25,000 damage. And let's use it as our starting point. Vaporize plunge. Because plunging attack doesn't have an ICD, of course we want to add a reaction to the table. And we will go with Hydra because of more consistency. We can do it with Furina, but we will come back to her later. Right now choice between Singsu and Yellen. And even though Yellen has pretty good buff and can increase our damage up to 50%, we will choose Singsu over her. It's because his Rainsword can apply Hydra to enemies even without normal attacks. And this will lead us to more Hydra application and can cover up our mistakes. And he will be built full sub DPS here. For the weapon he is using Sacrificial Sword and Artifacts Full Emblem Set. And besides Hydra application he is giving zero buffs to the Diluc. And I went to test damage and Diluc wasn't critting again. And this led us to situations like this. So I just gave up and used crit rate food. And I hope right now he will crit. And finally let's see at the damage. Applying Pyro, using Venti's Hall, Sinsu skill, Burst, another skill. Now going to Diluc, Diluc's burst, 49,000, first plunge, 46,000, 45,000, another 45,000, right now 34 for some reason, 44 again, that was weird, and let's finish the boss, 
And yeah, we are finishing the boss with only 3 characters. So yes, plunging attack Diluc has the damage, but we will increase it even more. Full team. Even though Cloud Retainer is already a good healer and we don't need another healer, I think Bennett still would be used in most Diluc and Yun teams. And it's because amount the buff he provides. So let's test damage with him. First let's quickly look at his utility. His Pyro Resonance Activator, we are getting 1110 attack from his burst, another 20% attack bonus from Noblesse Oblige and with Constellation 6 15% pirate damage bonus on top of that. And for the weapon I'm using Skyward Blade. So yeah Bennett still is the best attack buffer in this game since the release and Dilu Cloud Detainer teams cannot escape fate of using him. Let's and now let's add the damage applying Pyro using Venti's Hold. So Sintu, Bennett's skill into the burst, one normal attack, burst 97,000, so first plunge attack 89,000, second doesn't crit as always, third 67 and HT4. You know what? Cloud Retainer would have crit buff in her kit and maybe this would solve my deal with crit problems. And I was interested in this weird damage drop on our third plunge. I've made couple of more runs and sometimes it was happening, sometimes it was not. And in one run I've made clearly low plunge. And this plunge made exactly 67,000. And if you don't know, low and high plunges have different multipliers. And if we go to our damage drop, hate was it was clearly high plunge. But multiplier was from the low plunge. And I hope we will wouldn't have these problems with Cloud Retainer because this would be very unfortunate. Purina. And now I want to test damage with Furina. Yes, Furina doesn't fit this team and will work only for one rotation. Because Bennett and Furina doesn't work well together. But Chan Yun would be team wide healer. And this will unlock Furina at her full potential. And even though we will not use Furina in our next session real DPS check, but I still want to test damage with her. And my Furina is Constellation 2. And this is allowing us to go to 100% damage increase. And another thing that I want to test is Furina allowing us to make normal plunge attack combo without losing using Hydra application. So we are getting second buffer in the team because Venti's buff doesn't count here. And let's add the damage applying Pyra, using Venti's hold, summoning Pokemons, Purina's burst, so Bennett, Diluc's burst 122,000, first plunge 112 and second plunge doesn't crit. Interesting thing, our normal attacks was doing almost 50,000. But I don't think that we've got all the resolve stacks from Furina. I went further into the testing and I spent almost 2 hours just to make Dilu crit 2 times in a row. And this is with almost HT4 crit rate. Do you have the same problem with Dilu? Please let me know. But anyways, in the end I've got result. So let's go, let's go. This time we're critting, applying Pyra. 20. Purina. So let's go Bennett, going to Diluc, waiting a bit, Diluc's best, 122, first plunge, 112, second plunge, 180, and we're finishing both in two plunges. And I forgot to mention our rotation is working. If we are making normal attack into plunge, we are not overriding Hydro. And this would be very important when Cloud Retainer release. Real DPS check. Even though it's a meme build, I still want to try it in Spiral Abyss. And right now we have Hydra Tulpa in Spiral Abyss. And as we all know, Sing Tzu is kinda useless against Hydra Tulpa. So in this fight we will be using different supper. So against Hydra Tulpa I will go with different team. But anyways, I've tested Sing Tzu team against Lega Hypostasis too. I will not show full fight, but I can make quick recap. First this fight starts very good. And on our very first rotation we are taking half of the boss HP. Yes, damage is not problem for this team. But this team has very long set setup which not in line with these boss rotations. All these phase switches and vulnerable phases and RNG eats a lot of our time. So in the end with a lot of time wasted I've beat this boss slightly more 90 seconds. Which is not great for the team that has pretty good damage. But in the end this is a meme team that has very sensitive setup. And now let's move for the main event, Hydra Tulpa fight. So Serpent Spine stack gained, let's go. Zhongli, creating wind. The net skill, burst, time for retribution and starting to plunge. First plunge 102,000, 133,000, another 133,000. Alright, bo boss is melting, boss is melting. Let's finish our rotation, let's use the deluxe skills. Of course we are getting hit. 
we are getting it and now we need to reset now we need to reset now we need to recover energy all right let's go second rotation 20. so the net going to deal with we don't have we don't have energy let's use one plunge ht7 thousand one hundred thousand plunge and burst not critting again so he's running away he's trying to go in rage but not this time not this time so we destroyed small droplet now we need to reset now we need to recover energy yes we have some energy problems in this team so recovering energy so let's drop some meteor on him he's running away we was waiting for it so let's prevent him from going in rage so venti and this rotation will be last so retribution first plunge 102 second plunge dual plunge please and 131,000 in the end conclusion so today we achieved pretty good numbers with this meme build and when Shan Yun would be released our damage would be even more I think 200,000 damage would be very achievable for Diluc mains and not only that setup would be a lot easier rotations would be a lot easier and team building would be a lot easier too so Diluc mains getting big W but I know plunging attack playstyle not for everyone so what are you thinking about Cloud Retainer would you pull for her let me know in the comments and thank you for the watching subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.